deep in the Bible Belt, America puts science itself on trial. In Dayton, Tennessee, it's Darwin's word against God's. It is July 1925, and a young high school science teacher, John Scopes, is accused of contravening Tennessee's Butler Act, which bans the teaching of evolution. The press goes to town with the story, dubbing it the monkey trial. National newsreels feature trained chimps as so-called key evidence for evolution. Stores in Dayton see a run on toy monkeys. For one of the first times ever, motion picture cameras are allowed inside the hot, crowded courtroom. The trial will pit two great legal heavyweights against each other. Defending scopes, famous liberal Clarence Darrow. For the prosecution, three-time populist presidential candidate and devout Christian, William Jennings Bryan. Very quickly, the judge destroys Darrow's strategy by ruling that scientific evidence for evolution is inadmissible. It is Scopes who is on trial for breaking the law, not the law itself. Changing tactics, Darrow challenges Bryan's literal reading of the Bible. Asked if a whale really swallowed Jonah, Bryan says he believes God could make it happen. Jurors convict Scopes, but the press and public opinion give Darrow the win for ridiculing Brian. Five days later, exhausted and humiliated, Brian takes an afternoon nap and never wakes up.